going on everybody welcome back leo Pazzo productions thanks very much for tuning in in today's video we're going to be looking at a brand new follow focus by nits it is a 15 millimeter dual rod follow focus with hard stops let me tell you right off the bat this follow focus just feels and looks like it's well built and designed i'm very impressed with it because it is budget friendly it is a very useful tool and it also comes with everything you need included with the kit so let's just start off on one end of the follow focus there's a few points that i'd like to mention to you guys and features about this follow focus that is just fantastic and is going to help your manual focusing let's just start over here onto the left hand side the hand wheel for the follow focus it just feels nice and smooth and nice to the touch when you're actually gripping it it's just overall the nice size and as you can turn it we get the drive wheel right over here turning as well um, I will say there is an awesome damping design with this follow focus so as I mentioned the smoothness is just incredible if you do not want to be turning it with the uh, actual handle itself it does come included with this speed crank this speed crank comes included with the kit and it just simply installs right over there at the side of the hand wheel and we can simply use the speed crank now to control focus instead of using the actual handle if we make our way along the follow focus you'll see that we have this white outer ring over here and this is a marking disc it's actually magnetic which is going to allow us to make our own marks with like a marker or pen whatever you have on your focus points and the fantastic part about it is as I said it is magnetic and not only that this kit comes with three of them so for an example if you're on set and you have a bunch of different areas that you're going to be shooting and a bunch of different focus points a b c focus points whatever you got going on there's three of these white magnetic discs that we're going to be able to simply just mark out and connect to the follow focus nice quick and easy so just to give you guys an example here, you just want to find the little groove that's at the back of the disc and it just slides on to the follow focus lining up that little groove and bang, it's on there. And for an example, I can look here at the side and be like, all right, stop, that's the mark. Okay, boom, that's the other mark. So overall, that design is fantastic. So next, let's move along the follow focus to the A and B hard stops. As you can see over here, these two metal pins, they just simply screw in and those are your marking points. So you can loosen them up, adjust your points that you want to focus on your A and B points. And once you've found those exact points according to your lens and where you want to focus, you just want to simply tighten them up. And now you have marked out your A and B focus points, which are just fantastic because it has the hard stops built into this unit. So if you don't actually want to use the hard stops on the follow focus, you can just simply unscrew it. And at the front of the follow focus, there are two little holes with threads that we can just screw those in over there. So it's a good thing that we're not going to lose those metal pins. We have somewhere to actually store them right there on the front or the back of the unit. Next, if we move along the follow focus, we actually have the drive wheel itself. And this drive wheel that I I installed on this unit is actually the larger size drive wheel because this kit does come with three drive wheels in total which are all different sizes the size that I have on here right now is the large size and we also do have a small size and we also have a medium size which is included in the kit which is fantastic because right out of the box the drive wheel that was installed on this follow focus was the medium size so when i first set up the follow focus right out of the box on my camera rig and lens i was trying to adjust the focus and i was trying to set my a and b points and what i've noticed is with the medium size drive wheel that came installed on the follow focus right out of the box was not allowing my lens that I'm using the Sigma 50 to 100 mil f1.8 lens it was not allowing the focus wheel to turn all the way that I needed it to be from infinity all the way to the closest focus point of that lens so what I did is I just simply unscrewed it here onto the front and I grabbed the larger size drive wheel which I currently have installed right now and I put it back onto my rig and now I was able to adjust my a and b focus points with the hard stops and I was controlling the lens as it needed it to be all the way from infinity focus all the way to the closest focus point of that lens so as I mentioned we do have three drive wheels that are included with the kit that you can just simply swap out in a matter of seconds and for that sake I might as well go ahead and show you how quick and easy it is 
You just want to unloosen the screw here on the front. Okay, so just unscrew this. Bang, it's off. I'm going to pull that off. No loose parts or anything going to go missing, so that's good. And what you want to do is just line up these little grooves with the grooves over here on the follow focus body itself. Now that you've lined it up and just slightly pushed it in a little bit, just got it right in place. And you just want to go ahead and screw back on this little screw here on the front. It's very easy to do. You don't need any tools or Allen key. You can just do it by hand. And now we have the drive wheel installed. And since we're talking about the drive wheel, might as well mention to you guys that if we actually turn the follow focus around for for an example you'll see here that we also do have threads which will allow us to screw the drive wheel on either side of this follow focus system so for an example if your lens is a little bit shorter or a little bit longer we can just simply take off this drive wheel install it onto the back of it or we can install it onto the front of it with that same little locking screw that we have. So it's just fantastic. Again, comes with three different drive wheel sizes and we can install it on the front of the follow focus or the back of the follow focus. So as far as mounting the follow focus on your camera rig on the dual 15 millimeter rods, it's actually nice design because it's going to be very fast and easy to do because we don't need to go from the front of our rods and slide it all the way through. This has the open design here at the bottom that we can just go from up top and click it in place and now we can just tighten it right there onto our dual 15 millimeter rods with this little screw here and again no tools are needed this little screw has a nice little grip so we can grip it and nice and firm onto our camera rig and the fact that it's mounting to dual 15 millimeter rods there's not going to be any wiggle it's nice and solid onto your camera rig so now that you have the follow focus mounted on the 15 millimeter dual rods on your camera rig you can go ahead and simply just loosen this little little red screw here at the bottom of the clamp and what that's going to do is allow you to adjust the distance between the drive wheel and your camera lens focus ring so just get it nice and snug up against your focus ring of your lens and you just want to go ahead and tighten it up so another thing that I should mention this kit does come with this adjustable gear ring right here so no matter what lens you guys are using a video lens photography lens we can start using this kit right out of the box again ideally most cinema lenses do do have the gear ring installed but if you don't have a cinema lens don't worry because again as I mentioned this adjustable gear ring is going to work with your lens guaranteed it can be adjusted to a very small size to a very large size I believe up to a hundred millimeters diameter so the follow focus is made out of aluminum alloy and weighs approximately 470 grams so as I mentioned previously the build quality and design just feels and looks fantastic there is definitely no complaints it it does feel like it's an all-in-one follow focus just because again we have the option to control it here with the rounded handle we do have the speed crank we do have the manual marking discs which is magnetic we do also have the hard stops if we don't want to use the hard stops we can just simply store those little metal pins there at the front these gears can be installed on the front or the back it's nice and simple mounting we can adjust the spacing again between our lens and the drive wheel it has definitely helped me with control my focus manually again with the hard stops or even just free handing it it does have a great damping design so it just feels nice and smooth and solid overall I'm impressed with it I would definitely recommend it to any of my filmmaking buddies so if you guys do have any other questions feel free to let me know in the comment section down below I really appreciate you guys watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video peace